One, two, three, four, slow, quick, quick. One, two, three, four, slow, quick, quick. And now to the breakdown of each figure. And we're going to start off with the feather step. Now, I think the feather step is one of the most popular steps and variations in the slow foxtrot. And we see it danced from beginner level to the top professional dancers in the world, all over the world. So I think it's very, very important that we understand the principles, the actions, the reactions, and I'm going to give you some good key points for this as man. So remember on the introduction when we talked about the characterization, the feeling of the swinging leg, the standing leg, I think it's so, so important to understand this. Now, I think the first point I'd like to deal with is the rise and fall. Basically, of course, we have rise and fall in slow foxtrot, but I don't like to think of it as rise and fall because that springs waltz to mind, where we close the feet and lower. We're actually going to pass our feet in slow foxtrot, so we have four beats to the bar for that music, and through that, we only have three steps. So I want to explain how we move with those three steps. Now, we've spent some time explaining the preparatory step. So I'll take it that we have finished the preparatory step. So we're actually at the end of this first step. I think it's worth just discussing timing here, because many times we see couples dancing a feather step incorrectly timing-wise. And if I ask questions in my lesson, lessons around the world and say, how many slows and how many quicks do we have in the feather step? And they all say, ooh, well, I think the timing is slow, quick, quick. And I say, yes, but when you're dancing your preparatory step, you're including that into the feather step, and you're dancing four quicks, quick, 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 quick. They're dancing from here. One, two, three, four, quick, 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 quick. Now, this, to me, is more like a quick step. This can only happen and can be changed if we commence the body weight moving earlier. We think of the preceding bar. We count and let the music come into us. One, two, three. On three, I'm already preparing to move my weight forward onto my left foot th for the preparatory step. One, two, three, four. Now on four, I'm into my leg and ready to move off into the first step of the feather step. So let's make that quite clear again. Counting the music, one, two, three, four, ready to strike through on one. Not one, two, three, four, one. This is not the feather step. This is the preparatory step. So once we're into this left foot and we've done all the actions we said of the preparatory step, my tie is over my left foot, I can now commence to rotate through my standing leg. And my right foot and leg is starting to swing. Now, it's very, very important here to feel that distance achieved between the feet, that extra length that you're going to make. Now, that is not a reached step. That is li literally just a rotation and a swing step. But the time involved in dividing those two steps is oh so important. If we're too late, one, two, three, four, one, we're going to be behind the feet and behind the music. If we're too quick, one, two, three, four, one, we're going to be chasing our feet. We don't want that feeling. So at the end of this preparatory step, three, four, I'm using this first beat of the foxtrot to rotate, and I'm squeezing through and absorbing the pressure into the knee. One. Now, it's very, very important here that I feel I've finished the action at the end of the second count. So I'm moving through my right foot. So I'm dancing 
one, two. At the end of two, my feet are just beginning to pass. And my right heel is beginning to come off the floor because of my new swinging leg swinging through. I'll show you from this direction so you can see that. Three, four, one, two. You can see from here how this foot is beginning to swing. And because the foot is swinging, I'm releasing the heel of my right foot. Now, I'm not pushing up. I'm literally just letting and allowing this foot swinging past to allow this heel to rise. At the same time, I've got tremendous compression and power moving through my right hip and knee. I think it's safe to say in this feeling that you could feel that your left hip would be higher than your right hip through the swing. Or on the other point, you could feel that your right hip could be lower than your left hip. It's a feeling of swing of one side picking up and the other side being hanging down. Remember to hang the legs. The next point I would like to show you facing the camera is a big problem with so many men dancers. They create the turn in the feather step too soon. One. Now from here, there's nothing left to do. They're just going to walk. And it's very quick, very abrupt. I want to continue this feeling of rotation. Now, people say that slow foxtrot is made up of straight line figures, and I agree. But I believe we curve around those straight line figures. My back rotates all the time. My back is rotating. If you imagine you're sitting inside a little boat with the engine behind you, you turn the engine lever and the boat changes direction. I believe in slow foxtrot, the back is rotating all the time. It's beautiful to see a back rotating, never stopping. We never want to make a sharp action. So getting back to the step again from the rotation of the preparatory step, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Have a look at my right side. I'm not allowing the right side to move backwards. I'm making sure my right side is continuing moving forwards. I think, again, if this comes back, we're in big problems because now the lady has left you or the lady has been crossed your line. So from here, I'm swinging through. The right side is being carried forward. This is the connection point for the lady. From here, I feel a slight pulling sensation through my feet and my body weight and tremendous compression to the floor. Three, four. That compression allows you to accent the third beat in the bar that we spoke about at the beginning in characterization of the slow foxtrot. So one more time showing you this. We rotate. Nice timing, not late. One, two, three, four, slow, quick, quick. Now at the end of the last quick on the slow foxtrot, I feel that my weight is left of my right foot. I don't want to be on my right foot because now I have a sway and now the lady will be overturned. So I feel if I can do that face in the camera, from here I'm left of my right foot, not over my right foot. My center is over my right foot, my body weight is past, and that is my style through my left side. So there we have my interpretation of the action and the reaction for the feather step. And now on to Karen to give you her point of view.